Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is May 1st, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see BC, Washington, Oregon. Check out this system right here. This is mainly going to target kind of Southwest Washington and a lot of Oregon as we go through the day today, bringing some precipitation. It's also going to kick some showers across Southwest BC and maybe some of Western Washington, but we've got a stronger storm back here out over the Pacific Ocean that's going to be rolling through here as we go towards the end of the week. And I will be pointing that out here as we go through the video this morning taking a look at what happened yesterday. So let's back this all the way up here. And as we went through the afternoon hours, first thunderstorm here kicked off just to the southwest of the Olympic Mountains. And if we scroll through here, you'll notice all the cumulonimbus clouds bubbling up around there. And as we went towards the sunset, there was a thunderstorm moving down across I-90 here. And watch as we kick off some lightning strikes right there. And then right after sunset, it kicked did it again and there was also a thunderstorm there off to the west of portland up into the cascades there as well so yeah it was a pretty uh pretty photogenic there day there yesterday if you're out uh, taking a picture of some of those clouds and then we scroll into this morning here and you can see some nice glorious sunshine out there some low clouds out and about and you can see the high clouds as the system is going to be swinging in here as we go through the day today now, this is the sunset last night. I did capture that with my drone as this thing was moving from north to south across some of the foothills. You can see the heavier precipitation down there. I was doing a time lapse, so I didn't actually see any of the, the, the lightning strikes themselves. And this is a wider view of it here as also as it was moving from north to south. You're looking at the Cascades here. You're looking east from SeaTac Airport. You can see in the bottom left. And we did have a frost advisory this morning. That should be wrapping up here pretty quickly, though. We, we warm up pretty quick as soon as we start to get some of the sun up here, you know, when you once you get out of those daily early morning lows. And this is the monthly temperature outlook for May issued yesterday. You can see equal chances for the Pacific Northwest as far as precipitation and temperature outlook. I showed this, I think, yesterday or a couple days ago about us being above average for the month of May. They have revised that forecast. Now, looking at wet pattern here, coming up for some of the Rocky Mountains, this is very important because they are dealing with some drought out there. So this is very beneficial. And you can see some of these lower snow levels, four to 6,000 feet. Again, difficult mountain and pass travel here, so watch out. But this is going to be very beneficial here as we go on in through May 4th through 7th. Now, taking a look at the European model here, there goes our system swinging through. And you can kind of see the continuation of that with the storm system. It's going to be moving through as we go through the day today. A little bit of a ridge trying to warm us up a bit Friday, but some of the models are bringing the system in pretty quickly here as we go through the day Friday. So I wonder how much we're going to warm up. And then you can see this bowling ball shoot through the west coast there. We can kind of keep this troughing going as we go on into the early portion of next week. Now, let's take a look at total snow. This is over the next few days, so I'm going to back that up. And you can see the initial system right here as we go through the day and the night tonight and into tomorrow morning. Some snow for the Cascades of Oregon, so be wary of that. And then as we scroll on in through this weekend, you can see some additional snowfall for the Cascades, British Columbia, some of the Rocky Mountains here. We will definitely take it because we are below normal for this time of year as far as the snow water equivalent is concerned. It would be very beneficial to get some mountain snow out of this. Now let's back this up as well. This is for today, around 60 for Seattle. And as we go through tomorrow, Thursday, bouncing back a little bit here. And then uh, the National Blender model has been showing, uh, you know, Southwest BC and Seattle getting fairly warm on Friday here. But uh, I'll show you what the North American model here shows in a moment. It shows the cloud shield bringing uh, some clouds in pretty quickly. So it might suppress some of our high temperatures. And you can see how we warm up into the interior valleys, the Okanagan River Valley, uh, the Fraser River Valley here as well, in eastern Washington getting quite warm. But look at the crash as we go through Saturday. I mean, big temperature change. We're Rolling in here as this system will be right on top of us. There's Sunday, Monday, kind of keeping our temperatures suppressed here as we go on into the early portion of next week. But watch as we scroll to the end of the following week. Maybe we'll start to get a few nice days here as we go towards the May 9th, 10th, and 11th time frame. Again, plenty of time to worry about that. And this is the North American model. So let's scroll through here. There's the initial system. It does pop some showers off out there today, so watch out for that. But you can see the bulk of this precipitation. As we go through this afternoon, this evening, and tonight, goes down in towards Portland, the Willamette Valley, the coastal range here as it slides through as we go through tomorrow morning, and then we wait for the next system to arrive. Now, here we go through Friday morning. You need to see the precipitation coming in pretty darn right quick here as we go on in uh, to Friday morning here. So I wonder if that's going to kind of suppress our temperatures and not allow us to have a, a warmer Friday as some of the models had been showing. 
As you can clearly see by Friday afternoon, the precipitation is overrides much of southwest BC, Washington, and Oregon here, especially Cascades West. Now, taking a look at day one thunderstorm outlook, I wouldn't completely rule out a thunderstorm with that activity moving in here today across some of Oregon. Who knows? But it's not a strong signal right now. And there's the day two as well, some of the Blue Mountains and on east. Now, looking at the Seattle Weather Forecast Office here, actually finished April slightly above average for the highs and just very slightly below normal for the low so pretty close uh, to normal temperature there 2.42 inches of rain a little bit below average and SeaTac was also below average as well and if you want a nice affordable home weather station click on that link down below to save 10 percent off it's easy to set up great smartphone app lightning detection system and by the way my weather station did capture those lightning strikes on that thunderstorm moving from north to south along the cascade foothills very fun now taking a look at total precipitation in inches. So here we go. Let's see what's coming for today. You can see some of these showers here, but the bulk of the precip moving down as we go through tomorrow morning across much of Oregon. And then we wait for Friday's system and there it comes rolling in here. Hopefully we can get some measurable precip into Seattle and the Cascades as well. Looks like a decent precipitation maker. As you can see, some of the Cascades maybe up towards three inches. And by the time things are all said and done, you might get three, four inches of rain across some of the higher terrain of Oregon as well. Some of that falling as snow and it, some of the models have been showing some decent precipitation amounts for places like Yakima and Eastern Washington also you know that would be quite nice for some of the farmers out there keep the dust down for sure not great for dust double chasing however now looking at Seattle you can see Friday we try to bump temperatures up here again but I, I, I doubt that we're going to get that warm because the cloud shield will be moving in pretty quickly average temperature this time of year is in the red line you can see we hang out below average as we go through next week some pretty chilly temperatures I mean we average what 62 63 for this time of year and be hovering to maybe even the low to mid 50s Salem something similar there also then maybe climbing back out as we go towards mid May here's Pasco Washington check it out we're looking at those below average temperatures as we roll through next week also same thing for Yakima maybe even a bit of rainfall for places east uh, with this next trough rolling in and this is Yakima as well and again you can see a lot of the ensemble members do have some measurable precipitation so this is a nice thing to see here as we start to roll off into for the next few days into early next week six to ten day temperature outlook below normal signal here there's the precipitation for below normal as well and just a reminder there is the Canadian drought monitor out there and as you can see British Columbia and Alberta and not doing very well there is some extreme and exceptional drought out there and if you know from years past we can get smoke from these regions so it does matter what's going on in British Columbia as far as weather is concerned here across much of Washington Idaho Montana and Oregon but anyway, yeah, uh, the system will be rolling in today. You notice those clouds coming in and hopefully can warm up a bit here again tomorrow in the wake of this system. And then maybe on Friday before this next one out of the Pacific Ocean starts to roll in here. But yeah, anyway, we're going to be probably cooler than normal as we go through next week. And then hopefully we can bounce back a bit, you know, towards the end of the week. It's always nice to have some nice weather this time of year. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.